Thank you for joining me here on Fearless Heart. I am so, so thrilled that I have as many subscribers and views that I have. I just want you to know that I appreciate every single one. And I love every single one of you. And I pray that anything and everything that I say, that something, one thing, or all of it will touch your hearts. Please subscribe, comment, like, and hit that bell. <laughs> and make comments. Let me know how you feel. Let me know what you think. That is so important to me. And I will respond. It's been very, very tough for all of us in the last year and a half. And I have to tell you that it's affected me in some ways. My psyche has been affected by this pandemic. And I'm sure that a lot of us have been affected. I've been talking to a lot of my girlfriends and my friends on social media, and they feel the same. We have moods, we have up and down moods. We don't even know what we're saying or doing anymore. We have been programmed since our childhood to think a certain way or to be a certain way or to say or do things or our surroundings, our environment, the relationship of our parents affected us in ways we have no idea what it's done to us as adults until we experience the problems ourselves and try to fix ourselves. And to fix ourselves, we need time to realize the areas that we need fixing in and realize why those things happen to us. Things don't just happen. Things happen because of patterns from our childhood. No one, I have never met a single soul that has had what they call a perfect childhood. And if you hear anyone saying that, I believe that they're lying or they're in denial because no one, no one has had. Not even our parents had a great childhood. That's why they were the way they were. That's why they did what they did. We are human beings. We are human beings. We say and do things that we don't mean sometimes. We react. We are impulsive, especially us women. We're emotional. <laughs> if we are real feminine, real women, we are emotional and we react. If we have a masculine side in us and we're more manly, we don't have those emotions. We don't react because we are more masculine. But if you are a true woman and you're feminine, you react and you're impulsive and you say things and you do things. You get so emotional. It's just the way life is. You're a human being and it's okay. There's nothing wrong with that, nothing, because that is who you are. So either you're accepted for who you are or you're not. But the great thing is, is that you can ask Jesus to change you. You can ask God to help you. You can ask for forgiveness when you should. And when you're convicted, when the Holy Spirit tells you, you shouldn't have said that, or you shouldn't have done that. Because you will feel it in your heart. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> and I do a lot. <laughs> and it's just who I am. But if you're loved and understood and forgiven, and you are forgiven by God, then all will be well. And you learn as you go. And you change as you go. And we all have to change. The seasons change. The flowers bloom or they don't bloom. The stars are bright or they're dim. The moon is half moon or full moon. There's spring, summer, fall, winter. Leaves, no leaves. <laughs> There's 
a special species of birds in the air a certain season, then next season it's another species. It's life, it's life. And you just learn to live and to forgive and to live your life the way that God intended. And we are not bigger or better than God that we cannot forgive each other or love each other because we are sinners, <laughs> all of us. Love thy neighbor as you love yourself. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son for those who believe in him shall never perish but have everlasting life. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that because that is the verse that led me to Jesus at 17. And I'm going to tell you, when I'm on that path with Jesus, my life is wonderful. And when I get off, it's miserable. <laughs> and I choose to be with him. And I'm with him now. And I will be with him no matter what. He's put love in my heart. He's put forgiveness in my heart. He's given me the gift of mercy. I can forgive easily. I can love easily. I can have gratitude, appreciation, because God gave me those gifts. Do you want those gifts? Do you want to love who you are? Do you want to be forgiven for your sins? Say this prayer. Father God, dear Jesus, Forgive me for my sins. I know that I'm a sinner. I confess that I'm a sinner. I ask you to come into my heart and to forgive me for all my sin. I know that you love me. I know that you died, was crucified, and resurrected to save me. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Thank you for loving me the way that you do. Thank you for protecting me against all who want to hurt me. Thank you for protecting me against all my sin. Thank you for protecting me of all the pandemics on this earth and for saving my soul and for showing me the truth. Thank you, Father God, Jesus, Holy Spirit. Amen. That's all. You have your own words. Ask him into your heart. You have your own words. God bless you all. I love you. And remember, don't worry about a thing because everything is going to be all right. Until we meet again, this is Nadia Sahari. Thank you.